Canada is preparing for an influx of refugees thanks to Donald Trump. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. Total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Trump has called for a moratorium on accepting Syrian refugees, proposed an outright ban on Muslims entering the U.S., and most famously, he's promised to build a wall along the Mexican border. All of that has the Canadian government talking about a possible jump in the number of refugees coming to Canada. Immigration officials have had high-level meetings to talk about the potential for a flood of Mexican asylum seekers due in part to the results of the U.S. election. And Canada has already seen a small increase in the number of American refugees late last year. So how do people actually get refugee status? One option is to come to Canada and apply to be a refugee. The government is legally obligated to determine if you qualify. The Immigration and Refugee Board will look at whether the person meets the United Nations definition of a refugee, which is a person who has a well-founded fear of persecution based on their race, religion, political opinion, nationality, or membership in a social group, like women or people in the LGBT community. There's also an expanded criteria in Canada that includes persons in need of protection. That's a person who faces the danger of torture, risk to their life, or the risk of cruel and unusual punishment if they return to their country. But there is another option. It's called resettlement. Canada is oceans away from the places people typically flee, so we share responsibility with other countries for people who need a safe place. Resettlement is for a person who's left their country and made it to another, but that country can't protect them or find a durable solution. The United Nations refers those people to Canada to be settled here. Another option is through private sponsorship or a blended visa, which mixes together that referral program and private sponsorship. The system is supposed to protect people in danger, but private sponsorship can be a lengthy process, and many refugees worldwide face incredibly long waits to be resettled. Some spend years in refugee camps.